Hey guys, Brian here from Saw Woodworks. So this is my most recent project I just finished. This is a Ford F-250, obviously a bit older one, I think early 90s. Pretty badass, super clean color, awesome shell back here that he has with this big old opening and um, all in like really good working condition. So you got a real steel on this rig. Big old eight foot bed and he wanted to do a nice setup in the back of here for doing some of his camping. So just to show you a little bit of what we've been doing. Right here, I built a big old box with some heavy duty drawer guides in it. So that he can put a fridge eventually. He wants to put a 62 liter dual zone fridge. He's looking at one by winter. I'll uh, add that to the description under the video here. That's what he wants to fit in there. So I also add a 12 volt plug so that when he gets his fridge, it's all ready to go just to pop it in here and plug it in. He kind of based this build off of the pretty popular Baja style build that I had done before for a previous customer. So we went with the right hand side with a long storage with the false top on it so you can store some stuff up there. Right here he wants to maybe put his camping stove and some other kind of camping equipment like that. Up here, it's recessed a little bit, as you can see, so nothing kind of rolls off when he's driving or on a slant. Coming inside of here, I made every little bit accessible. So like in here, a nice deep, wide cubby. Shove some clothes or food and whatnot in there. Over here, same thing. But I also, this is where I stowed the battery down there and dual battery isolator, which powers this right here. We've got the switch for that fridge I showed you up there, your voltage, a couple USBs, and a nice little cigarette plug again. So coming over to this side, I thought I'd show you a pretty cool little setup. He wanted to be able to make the bed accessible by drawers below. So there's nice three nice big drawers under here. Third one back here as well. So maybe clothes and more camping stuff, but he also wanted to make it accessible from the top to get to that other little bit of storage back there. A couple catches on the back of the drawers. So as you can see, it's accessible in case he had something in the way. So also, as you can see here is these rails. So that is where I made it so you can slide that extra little piece of wood in like I've done before. Here's one of them. And the other one. So pretty simple setup as you can see, which makes it a nice good size bed in here. Let's say about four feet wide by a little over six feet long. And you can see those are still accessible once the bed is on and then tons of storage under there. And as we said before, you can access this from the top now in case you can't get to those drawers in the front. So a little bit of everything in here and I hope he's gonna be pretty happy with it. All in all, pretty fun build. Came out pretty nice. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. In the comments or in the description of the video below, I have linked any information regarding what I've used in the video. Also, there's some links down there for how to reach me, my email address, where I'm located, and a sweet little uh, deal discount by Renogy, the solar company I use for solar panels, batteries, and all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to see some more of my videos, and see you next time.